able to go home at all. It's true. My father's business has been very quiet, poorly, these last few years. And it wasn't even possible for me to go home for Christmas last year. But someday, I'll have a good enough job and I'll make enough money so that my family will never have to do with that again. And I can go home whenever I choose. And perhaps then, you could visit me as well. I'd like that. There's a place called home I can almost see With the red front door And a roaring fire And a Christmas tree It's a place called home That I still can trust so much with my sister Anna. She's just like you. In what way, Benisa? Well, she's nice like you, and lots of fun like you, and... And what? Well, she's pretty like you. Oh, Ebenezer. Hey, stop it! Oh, don't mind them, Ebenezer. But they're laughing at us. But it doesn't matter. How can you say that? Because they mean no harm, really. They're only teasing us because, well, we like each other. Besides, my father's always said to love those who laugh at you. Why? Because that's what Jesus did. He turned the other cheek. Alice, does your father teach you many things about Jesus? Oh, yes, he does, Ebenezer. Doesn't your father? My father doesn't know him, but I think he'd like to. Do you know Jesus very well? Oh, yes, I do, Ebenezer. Don't you? I wish I did. There's just so much I don't understand. Like what? Well, Miss Rose says that God loves us no matter who we are or what we've done, no matter if we're rich or poor. Do you think that's really true? It's very true, Ebenezer. Did you know that's what Christmas is really all about? God sending his very own son just because he loves you and me so very much? Why? My father says he can't even imagine loving someone else so much you'd be willing to give up your very own child for them. Alice, do you think God loves me like that too? Oh, absolutely, Ebenezer. He loves you very, very much. Then this is going to be the best Christmas I have ever had. Merry Christmas, Alice. Merry Christmas, Ebenezer. All right, children, recess is over. It's time to finish up our lessons. Now let's open our books to page 32. Miss Rose, it's Christmas Eve, and look, it's snowing outside. Well, who could work at a time like this? All right. Have a merry Christmas, and I shall see you all in the spring. Class dismissed. Yay! Hello, ma'am. Are you Miss Rose? Yes, I am. I have a letter for you, ma'am. Thank you. Don't open it now, Ebenezer. Do it later, when you're home with your family. I will, and I'm something, th something for you too. Oh, thank you, Ebenezer. Merry Christmas, Alice, and don't forget me. I won't, and Merry Christmas to you too. And Alice, I'm going to tell my family all about you, and about Jesus, and about how much he loves them. Do tell them, Ebenezer, and tell them I said Merry Christmas. I will. Ebenezer. I need to speak with you for a moment. No, don't tell him. Don't break the poor lad's heart. What is it, Miss Rose? It's about your family. Yes, I know. They'll be here any minute. Ebenezer, I regret that I must tell you this, but it seems... Well, there's been a change of plans, I'm afraid. I think it'd now be best if you spend the holidays with me and my family. Oh, no, ma'am. I can't. I'm going home. I'm spending Christmas with my family this year. Well, they'll be here any minute. I'm afraid... They won't be coming, child. Are they going to be late? Well, that's all right. I'll just wait here for them. They're not going to be late, Ebenezer. Now, I know that you're aware. Things haven't been financially well for your family this past year. You know they've been burdened with, with grief.
great financial debts. And it appears your family's debts have overtaken them. Child, there's just no easy way to tell you this. Your father, your father's been sent to a debtor's prison and your mother and sister to a workhouse until all the debts can be paid. What? It isn't true, is it? I'm sorry, Ebenezer, but it is true. No, I won't believe it. They're coming for me. They'll be here any minute. No, I received this letter only a moment ago. No, it's all lies. My family's coming. We're going to be together. Ebenezer, please. I know how you must hurt. But you can spend the holidays with me and my family. Oh, no, ma'am. No, I want my family. I want our Christmas. I know that you do, Chad. But you're always welcome in my home. No, and after Christmas, then what? Then why should I go? To a debtor's prison? To a workhouse? I have no home. I don't even have a family anymore. Let the stars in the sky remind us of God's compassion. Let us love till we die, and God bless us everyone. In your heart there's a light as bright as a star in heaven. Let it shine through the night. And God bless us, everyone. Now, I promise you, Ebenezer, we will pray as we've never prayed before. For I know without a doubt that God is still in control. Above all, do not let your heart go bitter. and know that he, he loves you. No, he doesn't at all. No good or loving God would ever let this happen. I'll show him. I'll put my trust in no one but myself. I'll see to it that I'll never end up being poor. I'm doing it on my own from now on. Ebenezer, please wait. How could God allow such a tragedy to befall me and my family? May I, Ebenezer? <coughs> Read, Ebenezer. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. I see, angel, though I don't fully understand. You are not required to. You must accept there is much you will never understand within this lifetime. Oh, angel, have you more to show me, or can we return now? The journey is not yet complete. We must go on. 